Hey, what's up? This your boy, Big Man. You already know what it is, man. So let's get right to it. Okay, man. So, man, little Dirk is having trouble rallying the troops. If that was his idea, if he was trying to get everybody to get together so they can form together like Voltron or something like that, this is not going well because, man, little Dirk's team just took a huge blow. No pun intended. Now, just blow. One of his newest signees, man, one of the artists that stood out on the Only the Family uh, tape that they dropped in 2019, man. One of his premier artists. I'm talking about if you look at the cover, it lets you know the order of importance, man, on that cover, man. And on the family over everything, excuse me, cover, you can see Just Blow as a consigliere. Now, that means that's the guy that Lil Dirk would go to for any type of, you know, advice on how to move in these streets. But Just Blow just found out, man, he's going to be man possibly or allegedly being convicted for some type of crime man now before we get into the specifics do me a favor make sure you hit that like button make sure you hit that subscribe button and man let's get it all right now that we got that out of the way man let's talk about just blow a little bit man just blow from 600 or man his rap name is actually just blow 600 man and to be honest man he's he's all right man he's a decent rapper he's got skills and on the family over everything uh CD or album or whatever that came out, man, he did all right. He did all right, man. It was everybody held their own, man. Of course, man, you know, he, he could have got more spots if you if you ask him, I bet. But, man, all in all, man, he did all, all right on that album. You know what I mean? But it looked like him being a future artist or one of the future investments of none other than Lil Durk is going to go awry, man, because Just Blow just got caught up in a humongous case. And it's a shooting case. And it's involving a murder, man. So allegedly, man, this is what took place, man. So I'm going to go through the exact article that just dropped that's got everybody talking. And it goes like this. Now, the article is from the NWI Times, which is a Northwestern uh, news organization out there. And basically, they're alleging a couple things. So the article says this. A Chicago man was extradited from Lake County late last week to face charges alleging he participated in a robbery that led to the shooting death of a Hammond man in 2017. Now, Justin M. Mitchell, now Justin M. Mitchell is the given name of Just Blow, 25 years old, was charged with murder and six other felony counts in October after co-defendant Paradise Haynes, 22 of Chicago, entered a plea agreement with Lake County prosecutors. So basically, Paradise Haynes, and she's got her own separate article on this same news publication, and basically what she did is she copped a plea and, and gave up Just Blow as the as the alleged suspect who's, who's responsible for the shooting. You know what I mean? Now, it continues to say that Mitchell and Haynes and Lucky R. Tyler of Chicago are accused of planning to rob Khalil Carter, 19 years old, on October 31st, 2017, at an apartment in the 500 block of Point Drive in Hammond. Now, this is where the story gets a little odd, man, because they're alleging that Just Blow screamed out, it's a caper, you know what I'm saying? And then began with the with the, with the the gun battle. That's the weirdest thing I ever heard. So it says that Carter was killed, and Haynes, Tyler, and Carter's cousin were wounded in a shootout that occurred after Mitchell yelled that out. So then Mitchell fatally shot Carter with an assault rifle as the documents state. So Haynes pleaded guilty to one count of robbery resulting in bodily injury, a level two felony. She could face up from 10 to 30 years in prison as sentencing. If convicted of murder, Mitchell and Tyler could face up to 45 to 65 years in prison. Now a magistrate entered a not guilty plea on Mitchell's behalf on Monday. And Mitchell and Tyler, they also have additional charges that they're facing. So Just Blow has some more charges that he's facing as well. He's, he's facing one count of murder, one count of murder in preparation of a robbery, two counts of robbery, one count of aggravated battery, and two counts of criminal confinement. Man, I mean, they really stacked it on, man. So it's looking like, man, Just Blow is looking at 65 years. But man, this is all a legend that Just Blow was the architect and the and the head person behind this botched robbery or robbery gone bad. Now, I'll just say this. Just because he's being accused of this doesn't mean that he did this, man. 
I mean, Just Blow is innocent until proven guilty, just like everybody. So that's why we always want to harp on the fact that these charges are alleged. And it's what is, that's what's being said. And, you know, his lawyer is going to have to fight. Now, for those of you who do know, or maybe those of you who don't know, Just Blow and Mimo 600, man. So Just Blow 600, Mimo from 600, they all signed to L Lil Durk recently, man. And Lil Durk was, man, the roster at the beginning of the year was looking packed, man. I'm talking about he had artists coming at, man, he had artists coming and ready, man. He had Buka 600. He had Just Blow. He had King Von, Mimo 600, Dodie Low, and OTF Ikey, man. And all these cats were ready to go. But one by one, it seems like somebody from this team keeps getting taken out of the equation. The, the, the worst being King Von. Now, Just Blow, I'm not sure if he's going to get bail in this situation or if he'll be able to fight this while still being outside and making money. But it's obvious that man, Little Dirk, man, he might have to restructure and go out and sign some more artists. Even though he had the opportunity, and I say, man, the advantage of signing cats that he came up with, like cats who are actually from his own hood and his own set. Or excuse me, I hate to say set, man, because I hate to make it a gang thing. Because I, I'm not, I don't know if they're in any gang. I don't believe they are. But from his own neighborhood, who are basically, you know, what I'm saying, close and tight knit with him. And he could sign them and get them in the rap game. That was the advantage of having King Von. That's the advantage of having Mimo. And that's the advantage of having Just Blow. But it looks like one by one, these cats are getting taken out. And I know that on the beef side of things in hip hop, you probably got 4K Trey over there watching everything that they doing and probably looking from the sidelines like, man, couldn't be us. You know what I mean? Because it's a crazy situation. But even though they do have their own thing going on over there too. With NBA Big B and BBGD and all that, man, there's a lot going on over there as well. But it just seems like, man, with Lil Durk right now, man, this year just ain't nothing for him, man. I mean, I'm talking about 2020 really ain't hitting on nothing for Lil Durk, man. This is probably, as a CEO, this is probably one of the worst years he could have, you know? Because to have some artists that you've invested in and have actual potential in start getting, you know, taken out of the game in these horrible Ways, man, it only hurts, man. It only hurts. It doesn't help at all. Yeah, King Von's catalog went crazy, but imagine when King Von was going to blow up, blow up, how crazy those albums would have been in the future. And we were robbed of that opportunity. And if this all happens, I mean, if Just Blow is found guilty of these charges, man, we're going to get robbed of another talent there too. Now, with that, this has been your boy, Big Man. Hold up. What do you, hold up. What do you guys think, man? Do you think that Man, it's just an ongoing occurrence with Lil Durk's artists because, you know, they play so closely to the street and they, they maintain being street dudes. I mean, this case is from 2017. It just came up to bite him from behind. Or do you think, man, somebody is really, really out to get Lil Durk? Now, with that, this has been your boy, Big Man. Please hit that like button. Please hit that subscribe button. And make sure you hit that notification bell so you get a notification every time I drop this hot content. And we out of here. Peace.